but unfortunately it is broke um as far as the new header going on i don't know yet i don't know why they use two different sizes thank you ford i'm stuck What's going on and welcome back. We are back at it again with Project Stepchild. We are gonna work on the passenger side header today. I've heard this one is, is more difficult than the driver side, so hopefully it won't be too much of a problem. Uh, I don't know, we'll see. But as you can see, I have the engine jacked up from the rear on the passenger side again using the brackets that i bought when i did the swap in coyote ugly let me uh get you a little closer look at that but as you can see that bracket attaches to the back side of the engine on the passenger side and it's working quite well I had to put the uh cherry picker on the side of the car to reach in there and uh just run a couple shackles there keep it short because of hood clearance. So we're gonna try to get the uh, passenger manifold off and the new header installed today and hopefully get the old clutch and flywheel out. We'll see about that. I'm not sure if that's gonna happen, but I'd like to get that out today as well. But uh, man, let's get to work. All right, motor mounts out, and now we gotta take the bracket off. And we should be able to get to that manifold. All right, so I wanted to get you guys a shot of this. Uh, hopefully you can see it well. This is actually kind of looking upside down, but this is the stock manifold. Um, it's kind of a pain to get to all the nuts on this one. One of the main ones is this one right here. You can only get a wrench up through here to get that nut off. Um, it does help if you have a ratchet wrench. It's a 15 millimeter. Unfortunately, I mean, I do have a ratchet wrench, but unfortunately it is broke. So I had to use just a regular wrench, use the box then, and uh, it took forever to get that one off. All the other ones were are loose. Um, 
the only other one really that's an issue on this side and you can't even see it but it's it's on top of this tube right here and that AC line right there gets in the way so I kinda coerced that line a little bit to uh, give me some room to get in there and I was able to get that off with a uh, with a ratchet and a socket so a little bit of patience and you can get them um, as far as the new header going on I don't know yet we will find that out when we get there but I wanted to point this out um, so you guys could see it and show you a little more of how this install goes instead of just uh, showing you after it's off so let me get the uh, electric ratchet up there and get busy on this thing so the stock manifold is off I tell you uh, if you don't have an electric ratchet that is kind of a lifesaver these nuts that hold these headers on or the manifolds whatever they I don't know what you call them exactly but they're kind of oval shaped uh, to where they kind of lock down so they are snug to turn off like the whole way until they're just about off so man an electric ratchet in this situation is such a lifesaver but uh, also to mention is this ground wire here that's on one of the uh, the bolts for the engine mount bracket that bolts to the block so don't forget about that that takes a 15 millimeter and then you got to use a 13 millimeter to take the bolt out i don't know why they use two different sizes thank you ford but anyway that manifold's off let's get the uh the new header and see how she fits the only other issue that i may have is i believe i'm gonna have to cut this little stud down here <clears throat> i think i'm gonna have to look at the instructions but I think you have to cut this down a little bit because it does hit the header but um, we'll see what it says and get that thing ready and, and get the new header up so here we go we have got the passenger side header installed and once the uh, transmission is up you know it'll it'll sit a little closer to the uh, the body it's just leaning back right now uh, let's see try to get y'all in here but got the passenger side motor mount installed as well now this side was a good bit more difficult I will say um, three of the studs I couldn't use so I used some of the bolts that came with the headers Let's see if I can pull them out here here's one there's one up above that one not sure if you can see it and then this one on top back here now a lot of people say that they have to um, reach through the top to get to a lot of these bolts but I got to every single one of them from underneath um, it was a pain no doubt luckily the header bolts that come with the pipes headers is a 14 or takes a 14 millimeter wrench so luckily I do have a good working 14 millimeter ratchet wrench and I was able to use that which thank goodness because that would have been a major pain because trying to reach up in here I mean you've got literally you know maybe quarter turn on the the wrench if you're lucky and then a lot of these I was able to get with the electric ratchet so that was good um, and then the motor mount this bolt here I had to get from down here I was able to use a ratchet the other one I was actually able to come through up top which was quite amazing because that header blocks just about everything the motor mount itself the top uh, bolt there you're not able to get through from the top because the header is completely in the way 
so I was able to snake a wrench up there hold it and then tighten the bottom part here so that uh, that worked out pretty good and while I was down here I went ahead and detached the sound tube I know a lot of guys get rid of those and I hadn't gotten totally rid of mine I had it plugged off but there was still some left but that's way up in there you can't really see it but I was able to get rid of that so that's a plus that kind of cleans up the engine bay but let me uh, see if I can get you a shot from back here it's kind of tight under here I'm stuck let me try to get you a shot further back that's a little bit better there but there we go long tube headers on project stepchild finally it was a battle it definitely was a battle but i think i won the battle but anyway let me get out from underneath this car and we'll wrap this up well like i said the headers are installed i think that is going to be a wrap for today uh, i was out here by myself today doing them so i think it took about the same amount of time um not sure probably about six or seven hours on this side which i mean i wasn't trying to get in a hurry you know i'm just trying to take my time and do it right and um you know not get frustrated so i'm sure it could be done faster and especially with two people that you know know what they're doing so i think it could be done a lot faster actually but one thing i did want to mention i don't think i mentioned earlier i want to mention that i did have to take this brace off this is part of the strut bracing now I won't be reusing the strut brace that goes across because the supercharger is going to be in the way but this one I did remove there's just let's see one two three four I think four four or five bolts that you got to take out and that way I was able to put that bracket back there and bolt it to the back of the engine but that worked out pretty good I was actually um, very happy with how that worked out and let me see if I can get you a shot I don't know if you can see the headers down in here that's kind of what sucks about these new cars is you can't even see the headers down in there but there's a little bit of shot there of them of the passenger side everything is clearing so far which is awesome let's see if you can you can kind of see the driver's side here there's really not much to see from up top here underneath looks really good but that's with these new cars i mean everything is kind of hidden but that is going to do it for today uh, i do want to mention also in my last video i said something about the steering shaft about it um, being real close it's not close there's plenty of clearance i didn't take into account that the engine was leaning back so the header was actually closer to the steering shaft and i'm able to push you know on the header and, and straighten out the engine once the transmission's in all that stuff it'll be sitting right and there's plenty of clearance so no worries there actually these headers fit really well um also one thing to mention i don't think i mentioned yet was i did have to remove quite a few of the studs i think i pulled yeah i pulled all the studs out except for one which was the top forward most stud um, there was just not enough room you can't get the header over the studs and clear the frame rail at the same time so I had to remove almost all the studs all but one so left that one in used it to hold the gasket and kind of hang the header so I could get another one of the studs started and I already pointed out the bolts that I'd use. I used three bolts, the rest were studs. But <clears throat> other than that, I mean, it's they fit well, in my opinion. These are the pipes long tube headers. And I like them. As long as there's no leaks, I'll be okay. I will, I will be fine with them. Um, for the price, you know, they're a lot cheaper than a lot of them out there. So with the fitment being how it is, I mean, can't argue with that but anyway I'm gonna quit rambling we're done for the day 
I'm glad I finally got these long tubes installed. It was a worry of mine. I was concerned that it was gonna be a major pain, but really it's just time consuming. As long as you don't get frustrated, it'll work out. You just take your time, you'll get there. So that's it, long tubes installed on Project Stepchild. Now we can move forward, now we can uh, move on to the clutch. Oh, and I did get the old clutch removed as you saw a little bit earlier. But still gotta take the flywheel off. I'm gonna need some help with that because I'm gonna have to have somebody hold the engine somehow or other so I can unbolt the flywheel. But that's it, that's a wrap for this one. Man, I'm glad I got it done. But anyway, hope you liked this video. If you did, hit the like button. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. And we'll see you on the next one.